Suicide is the 10th leading cause of death in the United States, taking as many as 48,000 American lives each year. We are here at Metro Health University Michigan Health with Dr. Connor Mullen. Dr. Mullen, how do you treat someone who is considering suicide? Uh, we uh, invite them to come in and see us. They can see us by video visit or in person at this time. Uh, we generally treat the whole person. Um, we try to factor in how severe their depression is and if they have symptoms or thoughts of suicide, we certainly want to deal with them directly. Um, we have three different ways of helping people through their care, uh, optimizing through how they want to be treated with either self-care, medications, or counseling. How would you determine that someone may be in risk, at risk of taking their own life? Uh, we would ask them directly, uh, certainly try to break down taboos regarding depression and mental health and help them feel comfortable to talk about the full spectrum of their disease. Uh, we ask them directly, are they feeling suicidal or do they have thoughts of harming themselves? And what can a loved one do or a friend if they suspect that someone is approaching a mental health crisis? Uh, certainly loved ones can be very important in uh, uh, our patients' care. Uh, they can watch out for signs of self-isolation, loneliness, changes in their usual behavior. And you're actually seeing people virtually and in person, correct? Yep, mental health is something that uh, it is fine to see people by video visit. A lot of counselors in town are um, seeing people by video visit and uh, we here at Metro have that capability as well.